You like me playing the hocus pocus? Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome back to We Drum Class. I am Cassidy, and we're here at Drum Percussion Studio in the We Drum Room. And, and I'm Gage. And yep. Hanging out today. This is Gage. So I know you're at home. You've been there for a while. But we're going to play a little bit together, hopefully get some energy out, use your brain a little bit. So find a spot at home where you can sit at your really good ready position, just like you do in class. In a little bit, we're going to play a beat. And when you hear it, I want you to go to set position. We're going to get warmed up, might play some rhythms on our legs, might clap some rhythms, play on the floor. You just got to watch me to know what to do. And then we're going to get into some fun instruments. All right, so... Actually, before we do that, if you want to grab some stuff from around your house to play, we've been doing this a lot with these virtual classes. If you want to grab something that you can hit, if you've got a drum or something, that'd be great. Um, if you want to grab uh, something that you can scrape and something that you can shake. So those are the three things that we're going to need today for class. So really quick, something you can hit something you can scrape, and something you can shake, and then you'll be all set to play along with us. So grab those things, or maybe have mom and mom or dad go grab them for you, and we'll go ahead and get started with our warm-up. When you hear the music, go to your set position. Awesome. All right, let's just see if we can pat the beat on our legs. and see if we can go back and forth from our hats to our claps like this. Here we go. Very good. All right, let's go back to just our legs. Here we go. switch up our rhythm now. I want to see if we can play this rhythm. All right, let's see if we can, sorry, we're going to do this rhythm on our legs and then we're going to clap it. Okay, let's try it. We're going to go cha-cha-cha then cha-cha. today we're gonna review kind of all the instruments that we've done over the semester um, so we're gonna start with some of these Middle Eastern drums that we've been working on um, so I'm gonna show you guys this one and I want to hear you guys shout through the computer what is this one called 
You remember what this is called? It's got this really cool thing on the inside with these jingles. It's red. It's got a big white head. Shout it out for me. If you said the Doira, then you're right. So we're gonna we're gonna review the Doira. Okay. And if you remember, the Doira is one of our frame drums that we only play with one hand. So we use one hand to hold it and the other hand to play it. And when we play a frame drum like this, we can get two sounds. We have one in the middle and one on the outside that gets a more ringing sound. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play in the middle and the outside back and forth and we're gonna count to four while we do it, okay? Ready? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, ready, and stop. Good job. All right, this is the Doira, and we're going to come back to this one. But next, we have another instrument behind me somewhere. I bet you hear it already. Yeah. So this one is, is an interesting instrument because it makes music, but it's also used in, in a special kind of dance. So this instrument is from India, and it's used in a special type of Indian dance called Katak dancing. Um, so you guys might have remembered this. We've been doing this the past couple weeks. You guys remember what this one's called? It's called the gung gru. Cool. So this this one, when we play it as percussionists, a lot of times we'll just shake it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to shake it, and while we shake it, we're going to say gung gru, gung gru. All right? One, two, ready, go. Gung gru, gung gru, gung gru, gung gru, gung gru. One, two, ready, and stop. Good job. All right. Everybody tell me again what this one's called. The Gungroos. I think, I think Miss Cassidy knows it. It's called the Gungroos. All right. We'll come back to that one, too. Now, this one's really interesting. This one's one of my favorites. Do you guys remember what this one's called? It has a couple different names that people call it by, some because of the shape. So sometimes we'll call this one the goblet drum because, you know, it has that shape kind of like a goblet or a fancy cup. Um, sometimes you'll heard it referred to as the darbuka. Um, but the name that we call it by is the doombeck. So the doombeck's a long drum. It's empty on the inside. You see nothing. You can stick your arm in there if you want. Um, so, but when we play the doom it's similar to the frame drum where we just play it with one hand. So what we do is we lay it on our leg and we hold it and then we play with our other hand and similar to the frame drum, we can get two different sounds. So you get this middle sound or you get this outside sound. And when you play it, it almost sounds like it's saying its name. So you say, you say, doom And that's what we're going to do right now. I'll count us off, and then we're going to play boom back, okay? One, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, and stop. Good job. All right, so these are our instruments from the Middle East and Asia that we've been working on. So I think now we're going to play along to a little song. So I'll stay down here and we'll play. We'll do it three different times so that we have a chance to try all of our instruments. Um, so you can switch with me um, with whatever you have at home, or you can stay in the same thing. Just play what we're playing. Um, we're going to start with our frame drum. Um, and so we'll get we'll get the beat and then we'll start playing. All right. One, two, ready, go.
we can get something that we can shake. And when we shake, we're going to go chop, 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 chop. All right? Can you do that with me? One, two, ready, go. Chop, 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 This one's called the Doira. Do we remember what this one's called? We shake it, it's like jingle bells. It's called the Gungru. And last, this one is called the Doom Back. All right. Cool. Well, all of those instruments that Gage just did with you guys are things that we've been doing a lot together lately. But the next stuff that I want to do is stuff that we learned about together a really long time ago, way back at the beginning of the semester. So I want to move now. We're going to kind of head back here to these instruments right over here. Now, this drum right here, I think it was the very first instrument that we all got to play together at the beginning of the semester. I hope that you guys remember what it's called. I know it's been a really, really long time, but this drum right here, remember it's that tall, skinny drum, and we're gonna play on the drum head, which I remember we talked about that because we talked about how the head is on the top of our body, just like this drum head's on the top of this drum. So this drum comes from different places in the Caribbean, and it's used for different styles of Latin music. Do you remember what it's called? You shout it out really loud. I know a lot of my students really, really love this drum. I really, really love this drum. Gage does too. Remember, it's called the conga. So hopefully you remember the conga. Now when we play it, we're going to use our hands and we're going to try our best to have our fingers mostly together. We don't want them to be all kind of loosey-goosey and out, but we want our fingers to stay together. So if you have a drum at home, even if it's not a conga, but if you have a different type of drum, why don't you get that out so that you can play along with us? If you don't have a drum at home, that's okay. You can play on your legs, just like we do in the warm up, or maybe you're on in, in the living room, you can play on the coffee table or something like that. Maybe your dog's laying in your lap. I like to play on my dog's belly. So whatever you've got, go ahead though and get in your set position. Me and Gage are gonna share this, this conga. But like we do in class, we're going to see if we can say and play conga. So I want to see you play whatever you've got and say with your voices conga. One, two, ready, go. Very cool. So this conga, it is a drum. So let's see if we can change our rhythm a little bit. This time I want to see if we can play conga drum, conga drum, conga drum, just like that. One, two, ready, go. Conga drum. 
Awesome. So that is the, hopefully you said conga and shouted it so loud that everyone in your house heard. That's our conga. Now, an instrument that we played together a little bit last week, actually. You remember when we did our percussion pokey song? Yeah, we used this instrument for it. So this instrument, it's not a drum. So we're not going to hit this one to make music with it. And let's see. Oh, what if I shake it like the gungers? Do you hear anything? No, it doesn't make music when we shake it. So for this one, we're going to use a stick to scrape it. Last week when we were together, I told you guys to maybe go find an empty water bottle and a pencil, and you can make the same sound as this instrument. Do you remember what it's called? It's called the Wiro. Wow. Yeah, so go ahead and get whatever you've got. If you don't have a real one, you can get your water bottle. But let's see if we can play this rhythm on our guiros. We're going to play cha-cha-cha, okay? Say that while you play it. One, two, ready, go. Cha-cha-cha, 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 ready and stop. Very nice. So we've got our guiros, our scrapers, and we've got our congas. So why don't we do this? Gage, I'm going to have you be a conga player. Okay. So Gage is going to be a conga player. So hopefully someone's in the room with you, mom or dad or brother or sister. So find a partner, a family member who's a partner. And I want you guys to talk together and decide for one person to play the conga part, and they're going to follow Gage, and one person to play the guero part, and you're going to follow me, Okay. And Gage and I, and you and your family, we're going to have a musical conversation. Our instruments are going to play back and forth, not at the same time. So what's going to happen is the conga is going to say something. They're going to say their name. They're going to say conga. And then the, the guiros are going to answer cha-cha-cha. So we're going to go back and forth and see if our instruments can talk to each other. Okay, so not at the same time. We're going to see if we can go back and forth. All right, so right now, hopefully you've decided... If you're a gonga player, you should be following Gage. If you're a guero player, you should be following me. Let's see if we can do it, okay? Here we go. Set position on whatever you've got. Congas go first. One, two, ready, go. Now, maybe you want to trade instruments. Maybe earlier you were a conga player and now you want to switch to the guero. So, trade instruments with your partner. You sit on the stool. I'm okay. Okay. Yeah. I like to be able to move around. All right. So, now I'm going to be the conga player and uh, Gage is going to be the guero player. So, if you're playing the conga, I'm your leader. If you're playing the guero, Gage is your leader. Okay. We're going to let our instruments say the same conversation that we did a second ago. Conga. Cha, 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 but only play when it's your turn, okay? Set position, here we go. One, two, ready, play. Cha, cha, cha. Cha, cha, cha. Cha, cha, cha. able to to keep up with us and do all that so we've got our congas and we've got our guiros and another instrument that we play a lot with these instruments all together is this right here we played these last week with our percussion pokey too mm -hmm. so this instrument of course hopefully you're shouting it out already is called the maraca so these are our maracas and how do we make music with our maracas do we scrape them I don't think so. Mm, that doesn't really make sound. What about, you think I hit it? No. no. That kind of hurts a little bit, actually. Yeah. 
actually. Yeah. Yeah. So we're actually going to shake this one to make music. So whatever you've got to shake, go ahead and grab that. Let's first see if we can say and play the name of this instrument. It's called a maraca. So let's see if we can say and play maraca. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Maraca, 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 maraca. Very good. And so since today is our last class together for the semester, we're going to do a whirlwind tour of all of our favorites. So I'd love to see if we can all sing our maraca song together. Remember that's when we shake them high, and we shake them low, and we shake them fast, and we shake them slow. You remember all that? So let's see if you remember my maraca song. Sing it with me if you do. One, two, ready. We shake them really high, shake them really low, shake them really fast, and we shake them really slow. Do it again. Shake them really high, shake them really low, shake them really fast, and shake them really slow. Do it again. Shake them really high, shake them really low, shake them really fast, then we shake them really slow. One more time, sing it loud. Shake them really high, shake them really low, shake them really fast, then we shake them really slow. Very good. Awesome. We're playing with our maracas with our maraca song. So, our last play along we're gonna do for right now, we're gonna use all of these Caribbean instruments to play. If you want, you can shake along with a maraca or two. If you like to play drums, you can play with Gage. He's gonna play on that conga right there. If you want, you can find something to scrape and you can play the guira. I'll kind of switch around down here. So whatever you want, this is our time to kind of be creative, do what you want, um, play your own rhythms. Or, of course, you can follow what we're doing. But I want you guys to be creative and have fun, okay? So we're just going to play um, either the conga, the guira, maraca, play along jam. I'm going to start our tunes up here, our beat that Gage composed for us, our little Latin group. All right. So whatever you've got to. Gage plan. Do you remember what he had? Got the conga. And then, of course, our scraper instrument that we all love, the guiro, right? All right, so we got those three, and those are big old throwbacks from way at the beginning of the semester. So we'll wrap up now. So if you've got stuff in your hands, you can go ahead and set that down and get back in a good um, ready position. So uh, not a whole lot of announcements, but I just wanted to remind everybody that this is the, the final class of the semester. So this is our last time meeting for this semester. Um, we'll pick back up in the summer, hopefully with our summer semester in June. 
So if you have any questions about that, be sure to reach out to us through email. And of course, stay in touch with us on Facebook and all that good stuff. And um, you'll still get one more upbeat newsletter. So don't worry about that from us before the, the wrap up of the semester. So thank you so much for playing with me and um, we'll see you later. Bye everybody.